Hello, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the plugin WP All Import. All right, with no further ado, let's hop straight into it. But before we do, I'm going to make this clear. This video is specified for a client of mine, but this will be showing you how to use the plugin as well. I'm just saying that because we're going to be discussing certain things within the Google Sheet. And within the Google Sheet, I'll be showing them the spe specific things for them to do for them. But if you guys already have your CSV sheet ready to go, you could just skip ahead and I'll probably have a stamp, stamp, a timestamp within the description or the comments below. All right, now let's hop straight into it. All right, so first, of course, you want to make your way to the WordPress dashboard if you already have it. And of course, I am assuming that you guys have this plugin already installed and activated and when you do you're gonna see this tab over here that says all import and you're just gonna make your way over to the new import screen this plugin makes it extremely easy to upload CSV sheets so of course I hope that you guys have your CSV sheet ready to go but this website is an online directory for businesses so if you're trying to set up something yourself you could follow along all right now for my client let me show you how exactly we're going to be doing this all right so first you're going to open up the the sheet with all the businesses in here and their names and to filter it we're going to select it and we're going to press create a filter and we are going to sort from a to z And we are also going to have filter by condition is not empty because they there are some empty listings here. So we're going to filter by is not empty and we're going to sort from A to Z and we're going to press OK when we're completed. And then we're going to make our way over to O and we're going to filter this by sort from A to Z as well. So I have the filter already here, but it's going to be the same thing from sorting it to A to Z. So you only really see the active. But when you scroll all the way down, you see inactive. But you just copy your way up. Of course, from here, and copy your way up. But let me show you guys how we're going to be copying the listing. So you're going to start from column D. You're going to copy and you're going to move over all the way to you and you're just going to press copy and of course you're going to be copying everything down here but from D to you is what exactly what we're going to be copying. Now we're going to move our way over to this, this CSV sheet which one is the important one because of the special formula we have here with C1 and F1 and G1 to combine the addresses together. Now that we have that set up, we're just gonna paste the businesses in here. Actually, let's delete the one that we have here. And then we're gonna paste the new ones. And now, when we added all the listings here, we're just gonna drag column B all the way down Now we're going to move over to column L. We're going to do the same thing for column L. We're going to do the same thing for column M. Drag it all the way down. We're going to also do the same one for P. And we're going to do the same one for S as well. All right, perfect. So we have the description. B is description. L is the formula for the addresses. M for the category, which is electrician. And then we have the default phone number in P, and we have the email address, the default email address in S. All right, let's just delete that so we have no confusion when we're uploading our listing. Once you've done this for every single row, and it's going to be thousands, all you have to do is download the CSV sheet. Oh, no. All right, we're going to make our way to file and we're going to download 
CSV sheet. It's installed. We're going to make our way to new import. We're going to press upload a file. It's going to ask us to select the file. And we are going to select listing type electrical contractor. But if you're doing this for your posts, your pages, your taxonomies, comments, users, you could do that as well. But in our case, this is a business online directory. So the listing type is electrical contractor. And of course, you could specify it for electrician day. Well, you'll never really have to do it for electrician day, but general contractor and general engineer, it's all down there as well, as well as some few more options. But like we said, we're selecting electrical contractor and we're continuing to step two. And this page is just showing you all the businesses or all the roles. So this is the business name, the default description, and everything we have is just asking us to verify, make sure everything is aligning and it looks great. And once you make sure everything looks good, you just continue to step three. Now you're on to this page and on this page, you're gonna be dragging and dropping the column into the title and content and a few more things down below. But like I said, this is for the online directory. So if it's for a post page or any other page, it will be different. But in this case, the column name is the business name. So we're just gonna drag it over there. On my laptop, it doesn't give me issues, but on my iMac mouse, it gives me issues to drag it over here. So what we're gonna do instead, cause I'm pretty sure it's just because of this mouse. I'll just put it once and change the number manually. But I'm just going to skip ahead until I could get this column one and this title and we'll go from there. All right, so I was able to do it. But like I said, it, I'm pretty sure this is because of my iMac mouse. I don't know why it's giving me this issue. But it'll be for Windows and everything else in the laptop. It'll work with ease. So we're just going to copy it, put it here, and this number is the one that we're going to be changing. And we're going to put column 2, row 1. And we're going to make our way over here. And this is action for the location and the location we have here already. So we're going to put here and we're going to put 12. And now we're gonna make our way to the media page. And this is accent for the logo and the cover image. So we're gonna copy and we are going to paste logo and then we're gonna head over to the web banner, which is located here. And we're gonna copy and we're gonna upload the cover image here. We're going to scroll on down and we have the email here. We're going to scroll up, copy. Well, for you, you're going to be dragging and dropping it here. So let's see. Nah, it's still giving us trouble. We're going to put column 19 for phone number. We're going to put column 16 and of course, website. That's what they're gonna put themselves when they claim the listing. I'm gonna scroll down to custom, sorry about that, advance. And it's the taxonomy categories and tag. We're gonna press category. And I put commercial electrician. And we're gonna put resi residential. I spelled that terribly wrong. All right, this section is to retype it again. Residential slash domestic electrician. And let's correct this over here. Oh, we're gonna copy this and make sure it's not each listing just has one category, it's each listing has multiple categories. And that's where we're gonna paste it here and make sure to put a comma in between the different categories. And we're going to close that off. 
and then the services they can add themselves once they claim the listing but with all of this said we're going to continue to step four and like i said it'll be so much easier for you because you're just going to drag and drop over here but like i said the mouse is giving me some issues and just to let you guys know this one stands for what row it is so it's column 19 row one and like i said it's going to do all the same thing for every single row so you only do this once and now it's actually once the unique identifier your work was done in the last step all you got to do is press auto detect and press continue then we're just going to press confirm and run import and the more that you're uploading the longer it will take but because it's only six rows the import was completed instantly and you could verify to make sure the listings were added by going over to the explore page and seeing the listings that we added thank you guys for watching if you have any questions let me know in the comments below Thank you for watching. If I made your day any easier, hit that like button and subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one. Bye-bye.